Paul, one of your hallmarks of, uh, of your podcast and writing is having a little fun uh, with this. What on earth is this <laughs> about? It's actually the name. Uh, Sandia Labs came up with a, uh, they built a new uh, trap, ion trap. And they'll hold 200 trapped ions. And they named it the uh, enchilada trap. Uh, the only problem is it looks like a taco to me, but I'll go with enchilada for them. So um, it. Uh, hey, can you talk of... real quick for those who are not uh, quantum enabled at this point? Can you talk about what what is a trap? Yeah, a, a, a trap is uh, holds the uh, the ions uh, and the electric fields and stuff and controls them so that uh, they can be. Uh, Operated with uh, quantum lake, so to speak. Um, this trap also has uh, like five different uh, zones for trapping, so that they can isolate the uh, the ions, uh, actually qubits, and and uh, perform the operations on without affecting anything else. They have to shuttle them back and forth into these traps, which causes another problem because anytime you start shuttling ions back and forth. Uh, if you have too much motion, then it heat eats them up and they they lose their fidelity. So, but anyway, it's got five traps, so it's going to be interesting. I, I looked uh, trying to find they've got a, a, a existing trap they call a roadrunner. I couldn't find how many ions that uh, that that holds, but uh, it's going to be used at Sandia and uh, Duke University, of course. Uh, uh, so it'll be interesting to see what uh, what 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 they come up with. It's not going to be a, a to the point where they can uh, perform a quantum advantage and, and out-compute supercomputers right now. But uh, it'll allow, allow us to use uh, larger uh, algorithms and uh, do some more testing that way. So I'm looking forward to it. It would be fun. You heard it here first on the More Insights and Strategy Data Center podcast, the new enchilada trap by Sandia Labs. <laughs> Your tax dollars at work.